Hi there, and during this video, we are going to be talking about WP Blazor, and I'm going to go through the dashboard here and show you all the cool stuff that it can do. Now, basically, WP Blazor allows you to manage multiple WordPress websites right here inside of one central dashboard. Now, as you can see here, I have a bunch of sites connected already to my Blazor account. And to add a site, very simple, we are going to click on Add Site here. You need to enter the site name, the WordPress URL, if you would like to add this to a group or to create a new group so you can group websites together to easily manage those websites. For example, I can create a group for all of my Amazon affiliate websites. I can create a separate group for my blogs and things like that. Next up, if you have a client, you can select that client here and then click on add site. Now, once you add your site, you need to download the plugin and then enter your API key here to activate it or you can click on activate automatically, enter your username or email and your password for your WordPress website. This information is not stored anywhere. It's just going to be used to quickly install and activate your plugin for you in a matter of seconds. So completely up to you, download it yourself and enter the API key or have it done automatically. I'm gonna close out of this. Once you have it installed, you will see that website listed here. As you can see for my demo website that I entered, it is pending right now because I haven't activated the plugin yet. Let's go ahead and talk about the different things that we can do inside of WP Blazor. I'm going to go ahead and click on the dashboard for one of my websites. So we're going to open that up. Once I open that up, you can quickly see that we have a little dashboard here with an overview of our plugins, our themes, the posts, the comments, etc. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on my WordPress. Next, I'm going to click on upgrade. Now this here allows me to quickly see if anything on my WordPress website needs to be upgraded. So for WordPress itself, I can see that there is a new version available and all I have to do is click on update to go ahead and update that. If I click on plugins, I can see the different plugins that need to be updated. And same thing for themes, if I click on that, I can see that this theme needs to be updated. Now one of the main features here inside of WP Blazor is the amount of time that it saves us. So for example, I'm gonna go back to plugins here and I have, let's say the all-in-one SEO pack that needs to be updated. Well, if I have 25, 30 different WordPress websites that all has this plugin, it can be a little tedious to go to each and every one, log in and update that plugin one by one. What I can do is instead of focusing on this individual website, I'm gonna click on my group name, which is demo. Remember I said you can create groups based on whatever you want. I could have a group called Amazon Affiliate Websites and have 50 different WordPress websites inside of that group. So I'm gonna click on the Word Demo, which is my group title, and now what's gonna happen is it's going to show me updates based on plugins and themes rather than websites. So for example, there is a WordPress update to 4.6.3. If I click this plus symbol, I will see all the different websites inside of my group that need to be updated to the newer WordPress, which is 4.7.2. So four of my websites need to be updated. I can click on update all, update all four of those instantly. Same thing for the plugins and the themes. On plugins, I will see the different plugins that I have installed on my various websites. If I click on the all-in-one SEO pack, for example, I can see that two of my websites need to update that plugin. So I can click on update all. Same thing for the other plugins. Three of my websites need to be updated, so I'm gonna click on update all. Once I do that, we can see right now they're currently being updated, and we're gonna give it just a second here. That one is done being updated, that one is now being finished updated, and now that one is finished updating. Just like that, three of my websites have updated their plugin, and I can go through here and do the same for the other ones, and same thing for the themes. We can see which themes need to be updated on which websites and do that with one click of a button. Now we're gonna click on plugins over here on the left hand side. And again, we are currently looking at our demo which contains all of these different websites. So if I were to click on Backup Buddy for example, I can see which websites have Backup Buddy installed and whether it is activated or deactivated. So we can see here on site number three, for example, I have the plugin installed and it's activated. So I could come in here and I could deactivate it if I wanted to. I also have the plugin installed on site one and site two, but it's not activated. So I can come in here and individually activate it or 
I can click on activate all and activate it on all my different websites. And as you can imagine, it's the same thing with the themes. I can come in here and activate themes or deactivate them across multiple websites. If I wanted to go ahead and add a plugin, which is a big deal across multiple websites, let's say that a new list building plugin came out and I wanted to install it on all 25 of my WordPress blogs. I can click on add new plugin at the top right. I can add a plugin from my vault or I can browse the WordPress database and upload a plugin from here. So let's say for example, I wanted to install, let's say the contact form seven. Okay. I'm going to click on install. Once I do that, I need to select which websites I want to install this plugin on. So I'm going to select all four of them and I can choose to either go ahead and just install it and, and not activate it. Or I can go ahead and install and activate the plugin. I'm just going to install it for now. So we can see right now the plugin is instantly being installed on four different websites with the click of a button. So we have it installed here. We have it installed here. Just give it a few more seconds here and it's finished just like that. And as we can see, we have contact form seven listed here now. And if I click on that, we can see that we have it installed on those four websites and I can choose to go ahead and activate on all of them, activate on just a few of them. I can also come in here to delete plugins. I could delete a plugin on all my websites or just a few of them. And I can configure the settings for each individual website. All right. So that's how we manage multiple WordPress websites at the same time. And of course, if you wanted to dive into just one individual website, all you have to do is click on it from your list and you will see that the plugins navigation looks a little bit different. Now we can see the exact plugins on that individual website and we can come in here and deactivate them, activate them, delete them and so forth. We also have the ability to manage the post, the comments, the users, which is pretty standard. I'll jump into the post really quick. We can edit our post here. We can delete our post. And again, we can do this across multiple WordPress websites at the same time. Let's go ahead and jump down here to our cloud backup. WordPress Blazor allows you to do backups to all your WordPress websites, and you can even schedule them and run them automatically. So right now I have just my one individual website selected. Of course I can select the entire group and now we can see them all here. I can back up the files plus the database, just the database, and I can schedule my backup. And up here at the top right, I can back up all of these at the same time. If you want to schedule a backup, we're going to click on schedule backup here. As you can see, I already have some of these scheduled daily at five o'clock, nighttime schedule, daily backup, daily backup. So I can simply click on add a schedule here, select which website I would like to schedule the backup for, give it a task name how often I would like to back up that website and the destination. So we can back it up to Amazon, email, FTP, and so forth. So that there is the overview for WP Blazor, allowing you to manage multiple WordPress websites in a single dashboard and make changes across all those websites with a single click of the mouse.